All right, mommies, it's Friday. We made it to another end of the week and it's been a really good week and I've kept myself focused and I've gotten my things done that I need to do. Even though there's times when I've really had to look at my piece of paper and decide what was more important to me at the moment. And I did, I made my decisions and I made them without a lot of confusion and hesitation. There's even been points in my week when it was time to go and do my workout that I actually was like, I know I'm gonna feel better if I just get up and go do it right now. No ands, ifs, or buts about it. So <sighs> it's the end of the week, it's Friday. We're all tired, we're all dragging, excuse me. Mommy, go, go, juice. So, it's the end of the week. I need to keep focused. I need to keep getting myself organized and working on what's most important to me. So, if you're like me, which most moms are, you have all this stuff laying around the house and tons of mail that you haven't even opened. I haven't even touched my calendar in like, I don't know, over a month. You know, everybody's sending me things. I've got tons of paper that's got to be put away. Files that need to be filed away. Why my car insurance is in my house, I have no idea, but it is. And doctor's stuff that I need to be taken care of. Like, I have to go get x-rays. So, the getting organized. Let's get organized. Let's work on being organized. Let's keep ourselves focused on what is important to us. So, oh my board. I love my board. It is possible. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. I'm going to make a difference in my life. I'm ready, set, let's go. My get organized declutter my home. I'm working on it. I'm getting my board together. I'm putting my things on here that mean things to me. And I'm making sure to stay in my groove because that's really, really, really key and very, very important to me. So, in order for me to stay focused, I need to keep throwing things away and moving forward onto the next steps of the things that I need to do. So, get a filing cabinet. Get a bunch of um, file folders label everything be very very explicit on what you want be very detailed if you need 150 you need 150 slowly you'll break it down and get rid of the ones that you don't need put your filing cabinet together put everything in there that you need that you know at your mindset right now or tonight or tomorrow whatever your mindset is think about like okay label it put just that in there is this something that you really need is this something that you really need to get rid of Yeah, get it done. It's important. Because if you're like me, you're running 100 miles an hour and you got 50,000 things on your mind and you got to get a long list of things done, you need to be able to go right to it, pick it out, grab it, and go. Like, you can't be searching through these piles that are laying all over the place because that's not organization and that's not how we can function best. So, we're staying on track. You can do it. Any single parent can do this. It's hard. Days drag. The end of the night, you're lonely. You want someone to talk to, but the kids are counting on you. You got to keep moving forward. You got to get things done. So make a spot for the filing cabinet. You know, go over to Walmart, Target, wherever you shop. Get your file folders. Get them labeled. Start taking care of business and get things organized because if you're not organized, it's going to be very, very chaotic. And I can't do the chaotic. I need to know where things are so I can go right to it and grab it. Like right now, there's some papers that I need. I know I had them the other night. I think I fell asleep with them in my bed, but I think they got put into a binder. So I gotta look for them because it's really driving me crazy and it's really important. So organization is key. We can do this. The weather's breaking, the kids can be outside. You can be outside. Sit outside on the deck, grab a chair, pull it up, put your feet up. But in order to do that, you've got to keep your goals moving forward. Write them down every single day. Write down your goals in the morning. Write down your goals at night. You know, if it's something that's super, super important, you need to get done right away, make sure that's at the top of that list, morning, noon, and night. You know, stick sticky notes throughout your house. You know, that I can do this. I can accomplish this. I want more. I want to become more. Keep yourself focused. Don't lose track of that focus. Me going to the gym, I'm not a workout person, but I'm going to be a workout person again. I did it a year ago and I stayed on track and focused till we went on a family vacation. Now I'm getting back into my groove again. I feel better after I work out, so I'm going to stick with it. Try it. 
15 minute walk, go hop on a treadmill, dust off the treadmill, whatever it takes. You're going to feel better and you can do this. And I'll sit here and make sure that you do. So, put up your board. Even if you just tape pictures to your wall, put what's important to you. I'm still adding to mine. Every time I go through a magazine, I find something else that, hey, you know, that kind of like means something to me. So I'm pinning it up. Make your goal list, what's important to you, morning, noon, and night. Put sticky notes around your house. Call a friend. Hey, I need you to kick me in my rear end and make sure that I stay focused. Don't be afraid to ask for help. You can do this. So can I. And we're going to do it together.